Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again today. As promised, I'm going to bring you a review on the new features of the DJI Phantom 2. So let's jump straight in. As you can see, this is the most obvious uh, modification that you see on the Phantom. We've got our new scroll wheel. And it actually feels quite nice. Uh, I wasn't expecting to like this uh, wheel itself, but you know it gives a good grip on your fingers. And also, uh, if you've played any video games before and use the uh, shoulder pad buttons, you, you'll be kind of used to using this operation. If I take off this back cover here, you can see the new trainer port on the back of the radio. Uh, I did actually grab a set of DJI uh, light bridge cables to see if they would fit inside. So there's a good potential that this radio will be compatible with the DJI light bridge. Uh, previously, you did have to buy a separate radio if you had a uh, Phantom and wanted light bridge on it. Anyone that has watched my weekly news will be aware that the uh, remote now comes with its own onboard LiPo, so no more AA batteries. And uh, this is what you can see here represented with the LEDs. Uh, just like the Phantom battery itself, the LEDs represent the amount of power in it. Uh, and in fact, when we uh, got these shipped out, uh, they were actually still turned on in the box and the batteries hadn't run flat. So here's a demonstration of the new locking throttle stick, as you can see. You can pull the stick down and there's a definitive click and then it stays down. You can give this a little tap and it does self-center. A lot of people were worried that they uh, had gotten rid of self-centering but you can just see here there's a definite click. There it is. And you can push it back up. I'll show you more on this when uh, I'm actually flying the machine later on in this video. There's not much more really to report on the radio, that's uh, about it. It's got the usual hole at the bottom there. Obviously one is now missing because the scroll wheel is up on the top left. Uh, the usual USB and that's about it really. The next feature you can see here is the uh, new anti-static compass cover. You'll actually notice that it is integrated into the leg. It's now not uh, clamped onto the leg, it's now actually part of it. And that uh, cap can be popped off if you want to uh, change the compass. Another thing worth noticing is that the cable has actually been replaced with that as well now. It's actually a much more substantial cable now, uh, a lot more strength to that. Uh, it used to be originally four very thin cables, so it's got a nice silicone covered cable now. So here's a quick demonstration of what happens once the onboard LiPo battery is dying. You can see the last light there on the LED flashing and also the audible sound. I used the standard USB cable that comes with the Phantom to actually charge the remote and uh, to my surprise it charged up rather quickly, uh, although it wasn't a full charge. Also included in the box is the new thrust boosted propellers. So here's a nice close up of the brand new 960 KV motors, straight away you can see those windings are much neater now and also notice that large bearing. Also noticeable is that DJI has decided not to brand these motors, there's no stickers on the outside. So here's a look at the opposite motor and as you can see DJI has done away with the black dot and now using a full black threaded stem. So let's get some props on there, take her outside for her first test flight. So as you can see it's just a standard startup, there's uh, nothing new to report here. So this is the first startup and first flight of the uh, new Phantom system. Uh, I didn't really notice much difference to be honest. Uh, the main thing I did notice was that it did sound a little bit quieter but as you can see the machine is unladen at the moment, there's uh, no extra pull on there. One thing I did notice here is during the arming stage uh, you would notice that the throttle stick would actually uh, lock down into the, uh, the bottom position whilst arming so you need to make sure that you unlock that stick otherwise it disarms after two seconds. The Phantom itself flew uh, very nice and very predictable, uh, nothing out of the normal, basically just the same as the original Phantom 2. So here's a good demonstration of that throttle locking stick. As you can see, uh, pull it down and it locks down and you can see the Phantom descending quite nicely actually down until I release the stick and it goes back into a hover. 
So as mentioned before, some people were concerned that the Phantom had lost its self-centering throttle and as you can see, if I let go it holds a nice uh, altitude there. Again, I can lock it down and it will start uh, coming down very, very smoothly in fact. It was quite a windy day when I was doing this and uh, the machine is unladen so it's uh, flying quite light so it should be affected by the wind a lot more than a heavier machine but as you can see it actually whips around the field quite nicely. Uh, I'm flying around in GPS mode here, uh, I hadn't enabled the uh, attitude mode yet. So it was at this point I uh, decided to leave the Phantom in a hover and uh, actually time it to see what the flight time was going to be. Uh, if you guys that follow me on Instagram and uh, Facebook and are on the DJI Phantom owners page, this is where I was uh, shooting videos from and uh, quickly uploading them to those guys. So as you can see here, I'm up to about uh, eight and a half minutes. However, I did start this uh, time at about two minutes late, so you could say that was up to ten and a half minutes at this point. So as you can see here, after 22 minutes, you'll notice that the Phantom then goes into auto land. I had the Phantom on its stock settings, so uh, this is how it comes out of the box. So. After roughly about 24 minutes uh, to 25 minutes, the machine started to land. So with uh, nothing new to report, I decided to take it in and uh, attach a gimbal. So here's a quick look at the motors again. As you can see, the motor mounts are actually slightly different now to the originals. As well as a quick look at the uh, new ESCs as well, uh, you'll notice that the motor cables are actually thinner now. As you can see here, I actually have an update for the battery. Now it's the first time I've actually had an update for a DJI Phantom Intelligent battery, so I was quite surprised by that. So here's a quick look on what a battery update looks like. You can just see that the uh, sensor LEDs are flashing. So after doing the updates, uh, I thought I'd use the gimbal, and as you can see, it wasn't really reacting in the way that I thought. So every time I let go, it would uh, spring back to this position. The the problem was that there was a new assistant software that I wasn't aware of so uh, I did get an email from DJI about 20 minutes after doing this and uh, I found out there was the update. So it's extremely important to remember to update your assistant software before updating the firmware on your Phantom. If you do so uh, you will find that you brick your uh, gimbal. If you do manage to brick your gimbal then uh, don't worry I'll be posting up a video shortly showing you how you can actually factory reset your gimbal to uh, zero firmware and then you can load on whatever you want. So here's a perfect demonstration now showing the scroll wheel actually working. So as you can see if you pull the scroll wheel all the way to its end point the gimbal will react fast. Uh, if you move it to a small amount, then uh, the gimbal will react slowly. So the uh, control wheel is proportional. The more you push it, the faster the gimbal will actually operate. So it's uh, quite a surprise, and I'm quite happy with it. Uh, and uh, I can't wait to actually get out and uh, have a fly with it. Now the plan for the rest of this video was to actually take my Phantom which is fully loaded and this Phantom which is now fully loaded with uh, video transmitters and IOSD, fly them together and see which flew for the longest but as you can see the rain came and uh, spoiled all our fun. So that's it for this video guys, I will be back soon so we can have a bit of a standoff between the old Phantom and this new Phantom as well as seeing if the light bridge actually works with it. So that's all for now, see you soon.